Now meet Marquise Harris Dawson. After discovering crumbling schools in South Central Los Angeles, he had students take pictures. It turned out to be worth $153 million. Take a look how taking a stand paid off big time. There was rampant crime, uh, lots of gangs, really heavy police presence, um, lots of drug use, and the, just the general despair and hopelessness that sort of gripped the community. When I was high school age, my family had to move out of the area uh, because of the conditions there. Despite us moving, I always considered South L.A. Uh, my home. Marquise moved back to South Central to fight for his home, to work in the community, and was shocked when he saw the deteriorating conditions in the schools. The conditions will absolutely overwhelm you. The bathrooms that they had were either in disrepair or locked. So essentially, you had students who just you know, took it as a given that during school hours they weren't going to go to the bathroom. So you go in the classrooms and there was simply not enough light for people to see. It sent the message that nobody intended for these students to learn. Marquise was outraged when he learned that most of the city's money allocated for school improvements was going to wealthier schools. It is absolutely criminal what happens to the children in these schools. It was disgusting. It was uh, probably made me as angry as I've ever been about anything. Marquis says the worst part was that no one seemed to care. So to get the school board's attention, he armed 60 students with disposable cameras to photograph and expose the deterioration of eight Los Angeles high schools. 100 student protesters displayed those photos outside a school board meeting. Marquis won his battle and got $153 million for South Central Schools. I'm real happy now to finally get to the place where I can come, move back, and work on some of those very conditions that forced my family to move out. It's worth fighting for, uh, and I'm happy to have the opportunity to do it. What kept you going? Um, I, I can't stop. It's, it's one of those things that's just funny about me. You ca I can't sit there and watch these conditions and do nothing about it. Um, certainly, my parents, when they moved out, they didn't intend for me to go back. That wasn't part of the plan. Uh, but I can't sit by and, and let these conditions per persist and, and not take a stand. Wow. How'd you get $153 million? <laughs> um, you know, we, we raised hell in the old-fashioned way. Um, I was able to go to Morehouse College, so I learned about uh, how the civil rights movement worked and how you can put pressure on decision makers to get what you need for yourself. And uh, essentially, we raised hell, we got in folks' faces, and we showed those photos all around town to anybody who would look at them because we knew if people saw them, that they would say these conditions are unacceptable and they got to change. Thank you, Marquise. Thank, Thank you. you.